Good day, viewers. Welcome back to You Word with Salman Martina. Today, we'll give you several information, and here is the news. In a recent cyber incident, the U.S. State Department reported the theft of approximately 60,000 emails, none of which were classified, shedding light on the vulnerability of government systems. Here's the news. The tax attributed to China by Microsoft has raised concern about cybersecurity in governments against it. During a briefing held by State Department with officials, it was disclosed that 60,000 emails were illicitly obtained from 10 State Department accounts. The majority of the victims, numbering 9, were personal focused on East Asia and Pacific, while one individual worked on European affairs. The specific details of this briefing were communicated by anonymous staffers. Microsoft first fell in the breach in July, attributing it to a Chinese hacking group that had infiltrated their email platform. This group has successfully sent a message from approximately 25 organizations, including various U.S. government agencies. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller clarified that the compromised emails were part of the unclassified systems, emphasizes that no classified information had been breached. While formal attributions of the attack has not been assigned by the State Department, they expressed confidence in Microsoft's assessments that the hackers originated from China. The incident has underscored Microsoft's spy for the role in providing its services to the U.S. government. As a result, the State Department has initiated the transitions to hybrid environments, engaging multiple vendors' companies, and implementing enhanced multi-factor authentication to bolster system security. The hacker's entry points into the State Department's email accounts was traced back to the compromise of a Microsoft engineer's device. This breach highlights the critical need for the heightened cybersecurity measures to safeguard sensitive governments, communications, and data.